Hi folks, thanks for watching You Can Do It. Today we're going to be installing a Snappy Trap bathroom sink drain kit. Um, these things are really nice because they come with more than enough parts to get the installation done. So I don't know how many times I've been out to the job, you get your parts and you find out you're missing something, you got to go back to the hardware store. This kit eliminates that, all the hassle. Um, you will find that you have a few extra parts. But this thing, every sink I've done, this kit does the job. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up the bag and see what we need for this installation. So I did buy a inch and a half trap adapter that I'm going to install on the half inch in, or inch and a half pipe coming out of the wall. Uh, the other one was defected. I, I had to cut it out, but this is what it looks like. It just has a male thread here, and then this um, connector goes on, and it literally bites down to the pipe that can kind of telescope in and out, depending on how much pipe you need and whatnot. So I bought that. I'm going to install that. So I'm just going to pull this out, kind of get an idea of what parts I'll need. This is a part here, I'm not gonna need that, so that's something that I won't need on this installation. I'm not gonna need that. But they give you all kinds of gaskets, rubber O-rings, and they give you step-by-step -step instructions in English and Spanish. So they give you this part here. This is an adapter that goes from inch and a half to inch and a quarter but we won't need that as well you might need that for your installation so I'm just showing you the parts that come with this kit and then you got all these different gaskets they're color-coded so this is this gasket here we're going to use and let's see here we're going to use this so you just have to figure out what gaskets go to what pipe so now like up here each one of these parts is going to require a gasket that goes in here so now like my drain tube on the sink is much smaller and as you can see this gasket here is too big so you just want to find the right one that fits over it tight. So that's the one right there, the blue one. So we're going to use that one there. So you're going to slide this guy on there first. Then the gasket where the tapered side is going to be facing down because it fits into the pipe nice and tight. We're not going to tighten this down yet. We're just going to snug it up. We're going to slide that all the way up. So that part's in. I'm gonna go ahead and install my fitting here, my trap adapter on the inch and a half pipe. Now since the cabinet's here, you're gonna to want to get some cardboard out so you don't drip your glue all over the cabinet. And I have a, a bucket down below in case I drip something. You probably don't need this, but I just always put it on the pipe just so there's no leaks. This is primer. So you prime it. I, I've seen plumbers not use this on the drain, but I'm putting this on. There is a glue where you don't have to put that primer on and then we've got some clear heavy-duty PVC cement I'm gonna put some on the adapter and on the pipe itself get any glue on the adapter piece 
and then just take a rag and wipe off all the excess glue. And on the inside, So that part's done. So we're gonna let that dry just for a minute here before we stick the snappy trap elbow in there. Not quite sure why they call it snappy trap because nothing snaps together, it all screws together. But... <laughs> all right. So we got this piece here. We just want to make sure that all the gaskets are in there. This part came fully intact. So it's got the, the rubber O-ring in there and it fits nice and tight. And these, this whole pipe setup, it has a real nice smooth interior. So all the liquid and everything flows. Haven't had one of these plugged up and we've installed several of these. Now, we will need a gasket here. It's gonna be an orange gasket. So we're gonna install the fitting up on top and the rubber O-ring. And you'll just wanna slide this up a little ways so this can telescope up and down get your right adjustment. Sometimes your drain coming out of the walls angled a little bit. So now we'll just bring this down there. Drop the gas, the rubber O-ring all the way down to where it's a nice tight fit. And just start snugging everything up here because you'll have to adjust it here and there. So you'll need probably some channel locks to tighten, not too tight to where you break it. You don't want to crank on it. So I'm going to use some channel locks here to tighten the adapter nut here. Kind of limited on space because the valves are in the way. But like I said, you don't have to tighten it too, too tight. Whoops. And then the others, you can pretty much hand tight. You don't want to get them too tight. I'm just kidding. All right, so then we'll get this one here tight. Pretty much all finished and this is the kit right here it's the snappy trap bathroom sink it's a universal drain kit it has an inch and a quarter adapter and it does both inch and a half and inch and a quarter it's I think I paid about 15 16 dollars for it at Home Depot well worth the purchase so thank you for watching you can do it and if you need to see the installation on our sink drain, you can go back and see that installation. Thank you very much, and stay tuned for our next video.